Hmm. I've been really into chocolate lately. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I've been into these nuts lately. <laughs> Chop it in. I'm sick of my. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the bakers to break this dance flow. Hey, all right now. Hey, all the bakers to break this dance flow. Hey, all right now. Gang, gang, gang. It's your girl, Prissy P. And your girl, T. From <laughs> T. And me, T. B. T. B. Hey, guys, and today we are doing a simple video. Very simple. We're doing a sweet. A sweet treat mukbang. Yeah. We have a nice sweet treat, our own little personal kind. Yes. So P has some butter pecan, hagenized. Yes. Hagenized. And then I have the chocolate. 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 Hagenized is my favorite my favorite ice cream brand. I like this one. And people say it's bougie. Or my husband says it's bougie. <laughs> Like, it's why bougie. you get Hagen dolls? Why you got this cost? This this is five dollars for this one little pint. Ooh. Why you can't get the other big pints for three dollars? Like that's what I said. <laughs> you gotta get what you like though. We're gonna say our grace. Okay. Father God, bless this sweet old ice cream. Let it not do no harm to our stomachs, and bless the ones who prepared it in their factory. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So yes, guys. So ooh. Comment below. Mm. Mm. Your favorite ice cream flavor. Mm. I've been really into chocolate lately. Mm. Yes. Well, I've been into these nuts lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's never. I can, you know what, P? Chop it nuts. I'm sick of my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of my mouth. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. That's not my favorite. Have ice cream. some. D get a nut. Yeah, I don't like pecans. Or just taste the ice cream. Okay. We'll get. Mmm. How oh, you taste it? Mmm. No. The ice cream is good. The nuts are small in there. Mmm. That chocolate is good. Yeah, I like it. The nuts are, are small in there, so I can't taste it a lot. You know what, y'all? What's so funny? I grew up eating pecans. We used to bust like yes, the yeah. them and take the little skin off and eat them. I used to eat them so much. I don't know what happened when I grew up. I don't think they're nasty. I just don't eat them anymore. I don't know. My favorite childhood ice cream would probably be Napoleon. The Neapolitan? Do that. I, I call it Napoleon. Yeah, no, no, what's it called? Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Yeah, a lot of people say that. That's how I knew what you. I was like, I want to make. <laughs> shut up! Lee, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! But I used to always eat the strawberry. Oh, uh, really? Mm -hmm. That is my favorite ice cream. We should strawberry. Well, no, the the Neapolitan. Oh, so all three flavors. Yeah, that's my favorite one. But I was like, if I had to choose one, I would just choose vanilla. But right. But I think I'm veering. I used to like strawberry, then I went to vanilla, mm -hmm. and then I went to um, cookies and cream. I like cookies and cream. And now I'm just stuck at butter pecan. This is all the all ice creams that I've liked all my life. Strawberry is my favorite though. It was like, strawberry hit different. I know, it is good. Strawberry ice cream is good. I never liked the strawberry with the um the real strawberries in it. I didn't used to like that, mm -hmm. but I can eat it now. Do you like um sherbet? I do. Or sorbet? Yeah, like yes, I do. Yeah, you have. Like, you have, have you ever had Italian icy? Those are good. Oh my god! You scrape it with the little white thing. Yes, I like those. We have a lot of those here. We have like a lot of them that really they're real Italian icy. It's like they're real authentic. Do you have those ones that are like all different color? They kind of like a sorbet, and you scrape it. I don't know. It's a truck that mm -hmm. goes around. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my god! I love those. The ice cream truck, mm -hmm. girl. When I was in ice, I always get the SpongeBob ice cream, and you know a little ice cream cone. It's like a slushy. Well, no, it's a snow cone. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about? It had the blue bottom. Yes. Uh huh. And the bubble gum at the bottom. Yes. Oh, Is that a Miami thing? Yes. Okay, because that's what I was gonna say. I remember that when I was going to Miami. Oh, uh, ice cream tries to hit the corner. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know something I used to always get that I loved? The cookie, the sandwich. 
I never, my mom used to get those. I always got it with the, I love those little chocolate mm -hmm. chips, cookie, ice cream. I love those. Mm. My mama always got strawberry shortcake, mm -hmm. taco taco. Oh, I've had one of those before. The cookie. Yeah. What else did I used to get besides the cookie? Hot sausage. Yep, I was just going to say that. A hot sausage, um, a pickle or a pickled egg. You like pickle egg better than hot sausage? Um, not anymore. I used to. As a child, I used to like hot sausage better. Yeah. But now I like pickle eggs. Better. Mine is reversed. Yeah. Yeah, mine is reversed. Mm hmm. I always got pickle egg. Fixed it. Mm hmm. It was 25 cents. Oh, yeah. Back, 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 back. Yeah. Again. They kept going up. And that pickle pig feet was a dollar. Ooh. Mm hmm. We used, be, ooh, we used to love those pickle pig feet. I'm telling y'all, me and Trinice are going to do a trip to Miami together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you guys all the things we grew up on. Yes, we're going to show you some conch and sauce and snapples. Snap, red snapple. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever had Haitian food when you lived there? Yeah. Well, I think I'll get some Haitian food. Haitian. They got that little bread thingy that you eat the food with. Mm -hmm. Their food's good. What's it called? Is it called pico? pico the little slaw stuff? Mm. I don't know the name oh. of it. I don't know the names of it, but I don't know. But Haitian food is good. It is. It's good. And what else? Food? Cuban food. Cuban. Oh. Cuban. I, I love. love. I mean, te amo. Te amo. I love mm. Cuban food. Why I'm not? trying to go to Mama D World House. Okay. Where we going? Cause girl, Mama D, can we come to your house? When? Right. Mama D. Cause she's Cuban. She's Cuban. Cuban. Is it Cubano for women too, or is it Cabana? Yes. Oh my God, Mama D. I mean, if y'all not subscribed to Mama D, go subscribe. Cause Please. She's. I love Mama D. Yeah, I like their conversation. Her, her husband conversation. Yes. Her family is really sweet. And she's, she's very. Sweet. She's very kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's very very kind. I like her. Mm. Oh yeah. This it's good, fun. yeah. Mm. See that? Okay, the butter pecan, the ice cream in that tastes more like vanilla to me mm -hmm. than that. Uh, in other kinds, it'll taste like a, yeah, like a, uh, I can't. Like it has it. a rum. Yeah, it has a different taste. Yeah, but um, this tastes more vanilla. It so does. Like, very clean. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. I do like this organized chocolate. Yeah. You know how? Um, because they sell these in CBS. And I think one mm -hmm. night we did a late night run and we got one of these. I was like, How can all has, because this is not soft serve. I know. I don't, this is real. I prefer. I prefer real. Uh -huh. And I know like soft, ain't nothing wrong, wrong with soft serve mm -hmm. ice cream, but I like real. I don't know what tastes better. It's mm -hmm. clean. It is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But growing up, I did. Like the Neapolitan ice cream and vanilla ice cream. And do you like ice cream cake? See? <laughs> you and your damn obsessions. I mean, obsessions. Do you? See? That is so childish. Ice cream cake? Yes. Really? That's like our parents got us that for our birthdays when we was growing up. I didn't ever get one. Oh. I <laughs> always had them. I always got Publix cakes. I never had ice cream cake. Every year we had carnival. Uh huh. My mama would call it dry cream. And I always go to the Publix and go in the freezer and get the carnival cake. I don't like that one. That's not what I like. Oh, what you like? The ice cream that's a real cake and the ice cream at the bottom. I was making for you. Mm. That's what I like. It's like, yeah, real cake. I don't like the other one. Oh, have you tried to make your own ice cream cake? I haven't, but I would love to. I think I. You should. I think I don't want to mess it up because I don't like wet bread. But ice cream cake don't taste like I just can't eat. What it tastes like then? That's gonna be hard. Okay, so is it like a cookie with ice cream? It's a real, it's, it's, real, ice it's real cake with ice cream layered in the middle. I gotta try that one. And it's so good. I got one for my birthday. I ain't show with nobody. Oh, he was so soft. Did you hear him in there? <laughs> you smashed it. I I didn't want to share. Very you him? He's a lot in half. Trudies. He is a lot in half. <laughs> Mm -mm. Oh, um, 32, 32 inch cake. It was a one of them little, what is the nine inch? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a small one, but I didn't want to show it nobody. 
I that's how good that cake was. Hmm. But they do. They personally make. They have to make them for you. They don't have them out. One day I want to want to get one. Mmm, that's good. Hmm. But I don't like the coffee ones because ain't no cake in it. It's just ice cream. How many birthday parties have you had growing up mm -hmm. as a child? Not many. Um, like birthday party parties. Mm-hmm. Cause they always celebrate our birthday with cake, but actual parties maybe just a, a few. Yeah. yeah. I only I only had two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know yeah. some people do every year for their kids. Every year they bought us a cake and mm -hmm. like oh, yeah. you, know, you know things like that. But the thing about my birthday is share that, it with someone. Well, but yeah, cause with Miss Diversity three, our birthday's okay. a day apart. Mm -hmm. So we always kind of shared our birthday, but it shared it on my birthday. Yeah. And then our birthday is right after Christmas. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a double whammy. So they already spent all this money for Christmas. Now you got to buy birthday stuff. So we were just happy to get the ice cream cake and celebration. Right. Bit, you know, something small. Because they just hmm. spent all the money. So yeah. that's how my birthday went. My birthdays are always a distant thought. And I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Because my birthday is six days after New Year's. After my birthday gone, it's just gone. I, it's like I don't really got, I don't really have anything to look forward to. Like, oh, my birthday this year, I'm going to do this, this, and this. It's, no, it's yeah, at the beginning of the year, it's yeah, gone. Yeah. And that's it. That makes sense. <sighs> so I'm just like, okay, well, better just celebrate it. It's Did like you call New Year's birthday? Not in Florida. Yeah. yeah. My birthday be hot as hell. Mmm. Right August. In August in yeah. the summer. Hot, baby. Well, you gonna have a good. You gonna have a a good one this, this year. year. I'll, I'll be thirty. I'm gonna be thirty years old. How do you feel? I feel great, but I feel like this is. I feel like you know you have your twenties to make the mistakes and be stupid. Mm -hmm. I feel like thirty is the years that I want to be learning from those mistakes, uh -huh. and I want to if and I'm gonna be better. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that type of way. I just feel like I'm gonna be more wiser, yeah. and be better, smarter, just and you know, blessed, blessed to have made it there. Yeah, because I remember when I turned thirty, all my friends, not for all people I went to school with, they didn't see twenty five. Yeah, and so that the fact that I saw thirty, I was just like, Thank blessed. You just, We're just blessed. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. So I think I I believe you're already very mature for your age because like. I wouldn't say a normal person your age, because somebody, a normal person your age should be more mature than in your early 20s, mm -hmm. but I still feel like you're beyond where you are, I mentally, agree. yeah. That <laughs> you're snoring our video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro. I'm done. But, I, but you're, that's true, and mm -hmm. I appreciate that. But true. yeah, you know, I just I feel like that's why I'm comfortable and I can, you know, relate. Yeah. yeah, I feel like whatever age you are, whatever time God give you on this earth, whether you on earth for twenty years, fifty years, a hundred years, we're blessed either way. You are. You're just blessed to be, have another day to yeah. breathe, to breathe, and to another opportunity to do something. And that's why every day I try to do something different or try to. You know, make something happy. Because mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to do such, make a change in a day. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's going to go get a workout. Yeah. Whether it's starting a new career. Mm -hmm. Going to school. It's just a change. Yes. And I'm, I'm good. I like change. Yeah. yeah. Change is needed. Yeah. It's needed in, in certain circumstances. I know it's a necessity to life to change because if we didn't change, we'll still be stuck in, we'll yeah. still, in a child yeah. like mine. Yeah, exactly. And you shouldn't. If you're still there, then something's wrong. Some people don't like to change. Yeah. You, They're you, content where they at. Well, I mean, you know, that's your choice as an American citizen, but yeah. I don't want to be in the same space. Yeah. I don't want to be where I, I am last growth. year the same mind. If I haven't learned anything different from last year, then I haven't grown. Yeah. And that's not good. Do you feel like you need to, people have to go through things and be hurt to, to, to grow? In some circumstances, yes. Me too. I do. I do feel like that. Like, sometimes you have to see certain things and you have to live certain things. 
I believe that like wholeheartedly. I feel like it's yeah. so important because I feel like a lot of the things that I went through that hurt me mm -hmm. made me a beast. Yep, it's the truth. It helps you in the future. It gave me a passion, like especially when people tell me I can't do something. Mm -hmm. It made me like, you can't tell me I can't do this. Mm -hmm. It's like a burning in me that makes me want to just reach every goal, exceed every expectation of what people have tried to limit on my life. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm gonna go get a I am today. You can't tell me. That's why I believe so much. Like even being a plus size girl is like they tell you you can't be a model, you can't do this, you can't. But it's like, that's why I create my own way. Yeah. You can't tell me I can't be a model because I'm going to make my own damn magazine. Okay. I'm going to make my, do my own photo shoot, my own modeling, my own stuff. You know, it's like, I always try to create my own way because you can't tell me I can't do it because I'm going to do it for myself. Yeah. Period. Period. <laughs> How are I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Period. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, Definitely. that's something I'm really passionate about is just like doing what I want to do. Mm -hmm. What you passionate about? I'm passionate about, let's see, well, I, as of right now, I'm passionate about just succeeding, mm -hmm. just succeeding going forward right. and just making a better life for me and my children. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm passionate about. So what, what I, whatever I, not whatever, like it's not like by any means possible, mm -hmm. like it's not like that, but yeah. I have to do everything that I need to do to make sure that, that I succeed, that we're successful. That we're taking my kids can be taken care of. I just want to do everything that I can to make that's sure right. that you know we succeed. Mm -hmm. And with them too, that's why I push them so hard. I push them because I want you to succeed. I don't want you to be able to have. I don't want you to have to say, "Oh, well, I hope I get approved for this loan." No, right. I want you to have. Hey, here's right. ten G's on my house. Start building right. it. Right. That's what I want. I agree. So I'm I passionate agree. about succeeding because a lot of stuff come against has been coming against us and will continue to come against us but yeah it sounds like you are not all, all, not only passionate about succeeding you're passionate about fighting yes i am a fighter you are a fighter i am a fighter I if am. you don't know how to do nothing else that is what you are yeah i am i just i've yeah. always been like that my whole life a fighter a survivor yeah i'm a survivor do it all <laughs> yep so i just want <laughs> Bro, I'm so sorry. wait you are snoring so loud <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys in that case we're going to talk about this video yeah. the husband y'all gonna keep going no no we're, no we're about to close out mm -hmm. but i think we had some good points here yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed it you guys learned mm -hmm. something from it yes. check out tnle tv with a place to be where they're cooking fried shrimp and fish <laughs> You were so crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you guess you can tell we're a little tired. Yeah. We just did um ramen and pork belly on her channel. Mm hmm You're gonna see that and on this Easter. Was dessert. This is our dessert. It was really good. It was. Dang. I put a little dent in that. You okay. Girl, <laughs> look at it. Oh yeah. I ain't played no games. We ain't come we ain't come to play. And I wasn't done. I know, it's so good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you want more. Mm -hmm. But we love you. Love you. Gang. 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 Peace. Peace.